So we're going to be taking your pulse while you do this, so can I just have you? Oh, uh, well, it's probably going to go up once I see that score. Uh. So, Lisa, when is the last time you checked your credit score? <laughs> At least 10 years. I, I, I just, intellectually, I know it's good to check it intermittently, but it, the thought just drains my energy. I don't want to know, but I want to know. Because you're afraid of what it's going to be. I'm past afraid. I know it's a disaster, Rick. Well, let's find out if you're right. Let's take a look. <sighs> oh, oh, what am I doing? Uh, uh. We are back with financial expert from my core team, Rick Edelman. That was Lisa oh. who went through our credit card clinic. You're still hemming and hawing over here. Oh, God. <laughs> I mean, my head is about to explode. It's like it's happening right now. I, I'm shaking. Um, just, just waiting for that score is like watching a, a, a horror movie. You know when you hear the music and you hear dun 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 dun, dun and then your palms get sweaty and you start to feel flush and then oh, like a big jaws comes out and bites you in the credit score. Um, so I literally felt afraid and my, my head started feeling light actually and it was pounding. A lot of things changed. You had a little blood pressure and uh, rather oh heart rate my monitor God, on. I thought that thing was going to blow up on my finger, Dr. Oz. But let's go see what happens. <laughs> do, you, do you check your credit scores oh very often? No. You can stand right there. Oh, yeah. um, no, I don't check my credit score often because I awfulize about what I think is going to happen. Yeah. And I keep saying, check it, and I just punk out of it every time. And not until today did I check it. And he was like, just hit the button. Yes, <laughs> like, forcing you. He took your finger and put it like this. All right, so we're going to do, again. Yes, it's hard. As, as before with this mm -hmm. clinic, it's about making sure your financial health. Oh, oh. But, but it's also about making sure your physical health's right there. Right. So I'll, I'll go first. Okay. That's okay, Rick. So here's what your heart rate told us. At baseline, 63, which is a pretty calm, cool cat. That's a nice number. Okay. As you were getting ready with that eerie music in your head to push that credit score button, your heart rate went up to 89. Literally? Yeah, that I mean, fast? Yeah, you could run wind sprints and not get to 89. No, and I, I literally felt my head swell. It, it's big already, but I felt it get bigger. <laughs> and I felt like it was going to pop off my neck. Was there, I mean, my, I felt dizzy, literally. Yeah, no, I yeah. believe I could yeah. see it in your face there. Mm -hmm. You know, this is a lot of anxiety. Did, mm -hmm. did it change at all after you finally came to the cruel realization of the number? I mean, when I, I was like, and I said, oh! It's bad, but it's not a disaster. And he was like, see? So it was, it was a relief to, to come and just tackle that, that, that monster. And so I feel a little bit better, but it's still not great. You know, we see that all the time, Dr. Oz. What we find is that so often people think it's so much worse than it really is. And uh, what we're going to discover is, is how you can, just, you can turn your fears into mm -hmm. actions that are really helpful mm -hmm. to you. And people realize once they begin to tackle it, they say, you know what? It really wasn't so bad. Mm -hmm. I should have started sooner. And so that's our real goal, is to get you moving on that positive path. So this is a big step for a lot of folks. You, you, we're going to go through you, Lisa, on this okay. one. Rick wants us to start thinking very differently about a credit score. In fact, he's sort of saying not to think about it at all. Because How are you not saying? Because, here's his thing. I, I'll give you a little metaphor on the health <laughs> side, but I want to turn it over to him, because he's going to okay. do exactly that, explain okay. why it matters. I care about your weight but I care much more about where your weight's going. How do you know I gained about 30 pounds? No, I, I didn't know that, you okay. don't show it. Okay. But no matter what your weight is, <laughs> it's okay. more a matter of where you're headed. So Rick, take it away. Okay. She's worried about a credit score, what should she be thinking about? And that's exactly right. We have to recognize that what matters is how many credit cards do you have? And are you adding to those bills or are you subtracting to the balances? And yes, are, yes and no. And, and that's <laughs> yes, really yes. Okay. So we have to recognize it's our behaviors. It's mm -hmm. not where you're at. The mm -hmm. credit score is just, like taking your temperature. It's, it's a moment in time of where you're at. So by cutting all through the clutter and getting rid of all that nonsense, we can focus on what really matters, and you'll discover it's so much easier. If you simply do three basic things, Let's walk them through it. This is important. Oh. It's, and, and here's a perfect example of this. Let's say that you've got three credit cards, okay. and that number one is, is, is the first step. You should have three credit cards, not 13 credit cards. Not this Ooh. many credit cards. This is what we often find How people having. How do you know having. it's in my wallet? We find it because you max out one credit card, so you go exactly. get another credit card. Exactly. And that's how you get in trouble. Yes. What you want to have is the Goldilocks approach, mm -hmm. not too few and not too many. Mm -hmm. to, mo to maximize and optimize your credit scenario, you want to have three credit cards, not eight, not 10, not 12. Okay. And then recognize that you have a credit limit with each card. And we've shown illustratively here with the balls, this is the amount of credit you've used of your available credit. Okay. And this is what people kind of have. Sometimes they max out entirely, and others they've used it only a little bit. What we want you to do is to make the minimum payment to every card. Pay your bills on time. 
Even with the interest rate? Yeah, just make the minimum payment on every car. But that's important. You just said that. Please explain that. I if you pay your before. if you pay your minimum rate, mm -hmm. what do you gain? If you make the minimum payment on every card on time, mm -hmm. you'll demonstrate to the creditors that you're a good credit risk and that will improve your score. Mm -hmm. After you make the minimum payment every month with any leftover cash, then you apply it to the one that is charging you the most interest. Oh. And look at the advantage oh. graphically. If we take this and we pay it all down and now it's gone and you free up all of the space. That means that your available credit is better than the used credit. And that's what you want to have is a scenario where you have much fewer usage and a lot of availability. Never be late on a payment, never skip a payment, never bounce a check. Just make the payments on time with regularity and you'll discover that your credit score rises all by itself. Oh. Now you brought up the anxiety you sang. Woo. Yes. Woo. Deep breath in. Woo. <laughs> But yes. when, I, when I see your heart rate go that high. No, literally. Yeah, I believe it, but yeah. it's this scenario, right? You have eight oh, credit cards, you got this stuff going on. That is my mailbox. That is my mailbox. And this drives Lisa, you crazy. You have a bill, you have a bill, you yeah. have a bill, you have a bill. Exactly. So by That's getting me. rid of the extra credit cards, <laughs> you get rid of all this mail. This is where right. a lot of the stress comes from, and you just want to eliminate. And I never, and it's funny because my desk looks like this. I don't even open the mail for years. I don't open it. I literally leave it sealed. And that makes it bad because now you're missing payments, mm -hmm. you're not paying mm -hmm. on time, and you're making your score go in the other mm -hmm. direction. Simple steps. What we, we taught you today was two things. Without mm -hmm. spending a penny, without spending a penny, you can be yes. wiser about where your credit score is heading. Mm -hmm. You can be wiser about the health that's being hurt by mm -hmm. money because that's never worth it. Listen, anything you can pay for, anything you can pay for is never as important as your health because that you can't pay money for. That's true. Thanks for being here. Thank you. Rick, I love your advice as always. Rick, and a, a wonderful hug. book. Give him a hug. <laughs> the truth hug. about money. And there's lots more information Thank in there you. as well as Rick Edelman's bonus tips on how to stop worrying about your credit scores on DrOz.com. Coming up, the way you look at Facebook may be changing forever. And I'm not sure if you will like it, if you get what I mean. Yes. Stay with us. Next, there are rumors.